This video is sponsored by L-Ring, DOS Original, sealing the OE and aftermarket with premium gaskets and sealing science for over 140 years. Do the job right and use the best. Visit lring.com. Just think about this. This is underneath the hood of a vehicle. Inside the shaft between the two turbines, it can spin at up to 200,000 RPM. To do this, it needs a good supply of oil, not just in pressure and volume, but the quality of the oil. When a turbocharger fails, typically the first thing to fail, it's right inside the center housing. The bearings inside can fail and produce debris that gets flushed into the oil system. When it gets flushed into the oil system, it can become trapped in either the oil supply line or the oil return line. So when you get ready to install the brand new turbocharger, it is essential that either you flush out the old lines on the vehicle and perform a full oil change, or you get brand new oil supply and return lines. This way you can ensure that the turbocharger will not be damaged by the debris in the system. Also, it's highly advisable that when you install the new turbocharger, you pre-lubricate it. This way, when that turbocharger starts to spin, it has lubrication inside the center housing. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.